Ladies and gents, this is Zan the Sportsman. Please subscribe. early morning ladies and gents yes this is Zan the sportsman yes we did it yes Arsenal are the FA Cup winners of 2020 yes Mikel Arteta did it big praises to Mikel Arteta and salute to all of the members of the Arsenal squad we've done it yes Fantastic man, oh my god, yes, we're in the Europa League, so European football resumes next season on BT Sport. Oh man, what a relief that is man, for the season we had, finishing 8th place man, where did that come, and playing a strong Chelsea side, yeah, we got the result we wanted, yeah, but 2-1 victory, but... A lot of people wrote us off. I think Chelsea, you are actually Chelsea were the slight favourites, but a lot of people never thought we had it in us. Yes, but all I can say is we did it. Fantastic double goals by Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. My God, what can I say? Yeah, Kieran Tierney, he was electrifying. Pepe was electrifying as well. My God, he turned up. There was times this season he was a bit suspect, but fair enough, it's only his first season. But this time he created havoc. Chelsea couldn't handle him and I'm so glad for him that he didn't get the goal he deserved. His goal was disallowed. What a screamer with a left curler. Hit it into the top right-hand side of the goal. But it was disallowed. It wasn't meant to be. Yep, Willy Caballero couldn't do nothing about it. If that goal stood, my God, that would have been up there with one of the goals of the competition for this season. My God, yeah, what can I say? I'm, I'm, I'm so relieved. I'm, I'm overjoyed. Yeah, so, well done to the Gunners. I just hope we can build up, build up this momentum. For next season, yeah, we're just around the corner. I think it's 40 days time the new season commences. But I'm so happy, man. I couldn't be more proud to win the FA Cup and get revenge against Chelsea as well for knowing what happened last season in the Europa League final. But this time we're going to have another good shot at the Europa League this time and this time, I think we've got a good enough squad to, to win it. Because, um, yes, Arteta's got his eyes on a few good transfers. So, this time, we can get the quality players that's good enough for us to win the Europa League. Then, we'll just keep on building up from there. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, my God. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, what can I say, man? Lost forwards. But Chelsea did look dangerous. That Pulisic, yep, he caused a lot of problems. He was a major threat. And I was so worried about Giroud being an ex-Arsenal man as well. As well, he, he would definitely know our weaknesses. He exploited us in the Europa League final last season. As well, very dangerous player. He was informed at the latter stages for Chelsea at the end of this season. Yep, in the latter stages of this season. Yeah, and um, he did look very dangerous. He was the one that set up the goal for Pulisic with that deadly back heel. 
And when Chelsea went 1-0 up, oh my God, I thought it was going to be back all over again. But we showed some good composure and um, momentum to get back into the game, to make it 1-1 from the penalty. Yeah, and um, Chelsea fans are going to say, oh, the ref helped them. The ref was on their side, this and that. A lot of Chelsea fans are not going to be happy. But listen, I don't care. We won the cup. I don't care. Let them say what they want to say. It was them that was doing the most cheating and the most fouling. You've seen how Kovacic got sent off. You got what I'm saying? They were the ones that were doing the most fouling. And um, look at the Emirates Stadium when Jorginho should have been sent off. So now it's just desserts. There's times in the past when... We got robbed at Stamford Bridge as well. Yeah, they don't remember when Diego Costa, yeah, in 2015, 2016 season, yeah, did um that face slap on Lauren Cashoni. So, yeah, these things happen. Yeah, your, your luck has come to end now. So it's our turn now. So don't blame the referee. You got what I'm saying? So, and even in Baku, you guys got a penalty. So I don't care. It's our turn to celebrate now. Yeah, but well done to the Gunners, man. It was a victory well needed. Yes, so well done to Mikko Arteta and well done to all of the players. Yep, to turn our season around. Remember when Arteta first came in, we were 13th place and for him to get us up to 8th is fantastic. Yep, he beat Manchester United, he beat Manchester City, he beat Liverpool, now he beat Chelsea. So, Arteta is a serious manager. Yep, the guy is a don. Yes, 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 yes. I can go on all day about this, but all I can say is I'm just over the moon. Yeah, what can I say, man? Yeah, what else can I say? Yeah, man, so I think that's pretty much I needed to say for now, but Big up to the Arsenal for our 14th FA Cup. Yep, so let's build on from here and try and get some more trophies in the cabinet. I don't mind winning FA Cups, but let's at least try and go for the League Cup as well next season and win this Europa League. I, I don't expect us to win the Premier League with the squad we have now. Obviously not. We still need to strengthen up on that defence, but the way how our momentum is going, I wouldn't be surprised if we got fourth, but I'm going to go with a fifth place finish for next season with the Europa League, but let's keep our main objective on winning the Europa League. Yes, man, what a topsy-turvy season has been, but thank God we came out jubilant at the end of the day. Yes, well, thanks once again, ladies and gents. Yeah, please don't forget to subscribe and hit a comment. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Zan, the Das Sportsman, signing out. The only way is up. Come on, you gunners. Let's get in.